is January 24th. We are four days out from the marathon. We only have three runs left. As you can see, we're out here on the track. Even with the snow on the ground, doesn't matter. We gotta get this last speed session in. It's gonna be two miles. And then after that, we're gonna do eight repeats of 800 meters at a 315 pace, followed by a 200 meter jog, and then cool down with a two mile easy. So a total of about 8.9 miles, roughly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Nice, easy two miles. Put that music on and get in the zone. Let's do it. Do it, taper baby. Just a couple more sessions, like I said. Taper's gonna be pretty much just taking it easy. We dropped the volume a lot the last two weeks. I'll explain more after this run, just basically the benefits of the taper and why it's so important to do it before a marathon. Let's get to it. Let's get it, baby. Weather ain't stopping us. Do it. Can't get any worse than this. Eighty more meters to go, and we start the 315 pace for the 800 meter repeats. I've hit these paces before, so it should be no problem. We're gonna put the work in and get the best of this last speed session. Go. First rep down, I was about a 312, had to hit a 315, so it's perfect. I was kind of fast out the gate. My legs are feeling fresh from the taper, so even though this is a speed session, I don't want to give it my all. I just want my legs to be used to this certain pace. So I could go faster, but we got to remind myself that this is a taper, not an all out kill yourself workout. It's crazy because I want to go so much faster, but we saved that for marathon day. It feels just like my first marathon where my legs felt so fresh and like I could just hit paces that were very difficult during the prep with ease. We got that one lane here too, perfect for us. A little bit of snow right here, but ain't that bad. That's good. that one too baby getting that rhythm down finding that 315 pace down pretty perfectly we'll go after the specific times after we're done but done. three more reps to go and there we're smooth feeling a little two knots here we go I think that was like 312 again. This is freaking great. Never in my life did I think I'd be hitting 630 paces in a marathon or anything like that. My first one, like I keep talking about it, but majority of the miles were 630. And I remember when I couldn't even run that for a mile. This just shows that consistency pays off. Compounding, working, you put in the effort, make it happen, get better. Let's go, rep six. Rep seven coming up. Started drizzling a little bit, a little bit. You see it on the screen. Look at them rain droplets. We don't care, boy. We don't care. I got my boy on the bike here, pedaling through the snow. We out here. Let's go. Here we go, rep seven. Got one more 800 meter left. Gotta give it my all on this one. Keep the pace though, but make it a good, a good set. You know, good rep. All right, here we go. Last set, best set. Two more miles to 
Let's go. That's it. Right, so I know we said after this we're gonna more so talk about the taper, give you guys tips, but for the last two miles, just go over what the last week looked like for me personally. So Monday I did five miles, Tuesday I did five miles, today's Wednesday with today's workout, which I explained in the beginning of the video. Thursday is gonna be rest day, Friday is gonna be a four-mile run, Saturday, the day before the race, it's gonna be a two-mile run. And Sunday's the big day, 7 a.m. Supposed to have some good weather, so I think it's gonna be 58 in the morning. I think it's like a 68 high, so not bad for a marathon day, and hopefully it stays like that. All right, workout complete, last good one. We're about to go back to the car. We'll talk about the taper and uh, we just got to hop the fence real quick. That's how we had to get in here. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be closed, but you know, they ain't stopping us. We still got the work done. So let's go ahead, hop the fence and talk about that. So it is the next day and we are back home and as discussed we are going to talk about what the benefits of the taper is and why it's so necessary in a marathon build so for one it freshens everything up it basically reduces the fatigue in the body and let's keep in mind the taper is so important because you can't add any fitness usually it's done two to three weeks prior to the race and from there you're just kind of maintaining what you build already throughout the marathon prep so if you're going to start from the three weeks out point um, you want to start thinking about the slight reduction in the overall mileage that you were completing. While doing this, you want to keep the intensity normal. So when I say normal, it's okay to keep your intervals, your hill sessions, if you have any throughout your marathon prep. It's recommended that at this point you do 10% less than what your biggest week was. So starting from two weeks out from marathon day, at this point you want to start thinking about reducing your heaviest mileage week from 30 to 25%. And you want to keep the days that you run usually the same but at this point you might want to start thinking about adding some strides to the beginning or the end of your easy sessions also keep at least one speed session so that your feet are used to still hitting a faster relative pace at this point you want to start thinking about making your long run anywhere between 90 to 120 minutes and within some of those miles you want to insert mileage at goal pace so whatever your goal is for the race it doesn't also hurt to start thinking about maybe booking yourself a massage or visiting the chiropractor which is what I did the day after the workout that you guys just saw. I went to my physical therapist and he just helps decompress my back, my legs, and things like that. All right, so for now from one week out, here are some other thoughts or things you should start implementing. So I would say reduce your mileage anywhere between 50 to 60% six days before your race. And all at the same time, you wanna keep the same frequency and then still maybe if you want optional, keep one relative easy pace speed session earlier on in the week prior. And that's pretty much what I did. Like again, Wednesday, today is Thursday. I have a day to recover, but I kept one lighter speed session in for my taper. Then one thing to do is you have the option to either take a rest day the day before, or if you want, just to kind of get the race jitters out and kind of get some low mileage in, you could just do a slight easy run, just a quick shakeout run, which is what a lot of people typically do. And for myself, in this prep, I'm going to be doing two miles before my marathon race, and that's just to kind of get the get the legs moving, the blood flowing, and you know, just kind of get in the right mindset for the next day. And so that's going to bring me to the last additional tips. Leading up to the race, you really want to prioritize sleep usually the day before your marathon. A lot of people say that they have trouble sleeping. That's just from the excitement and the jitters of race day. So really what matters the most is actually the day prior. Try to get eight to 10 hours of sleep if you can. Also start to think about your carb up and how you're going to be consuming more food to fuel your race day. Normally myself, I carb up three days heavy before and obviously really try to keep healthy foods in that are not gonna upset your stomach. So things like for carbs, rice, potatoes, quinoa, rice cakes. Those are some just of the ones that I do. Another good one is to practice in your race day kit. 
You don't want to have any unexpected problems come race day with your clothing. Typically chafe, you want to make sure that your clothes are chafe free, they fit well, there's no holes or anything that you just want to avoid from having to experience on race day. And the last thing is trust the process. Usually for a marathon build, I would hope that you have had an extensive amount of weeks to prepare for it and just remember that all the work that you have done is gonna help you succeed on marathon race day and just have fun when you go out there and try to do your best. So that's it for taper week. These are just things that I kind of implement throughout my process. And like I said, it's just from personal experience and what I recommend. Obviously people do different things, but here are just some tips. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below and I'll answer them and make sure you subscribe. Thanks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.